Hey, it's Ron again at the Golden Gate International Film Festival. We just watched Nighthawks, and we got the two people that were starring in the film. Please say your names. My name is Atlas Ferreira, and my name is Quinn Nagel. Got a good reaction from the crowd. Um, I want to ask you, you're the director. What made you want to shoot in that type of style, in that, type, uh, that time frame in, in New York, correct? Yeah, the 50s, uh, I chose 1959 uh, because it's kind of like that year before everything really radically switches into the 60s. It's like one of those decades where it really did like almost like a light switch, like the 60s just kind of arrived and those decades kind of take like a couple of years to ramp into. Okay. And I think just, you know, it's like one of those eras that's like burned into the consciousness of all Americans, like mid-century America. Mm -hmm. And it's such a beautiful era to shoot. Um, uh, as far as like the look of the film, I was very inspired by like both color and black and white noirs. So like the whole canon of noir. Um, yeah. Well, I'm glad you chose that. That was a good style. Um, tell me, in your uh, character, what was what was the preparation like to get into that uh, type of mood to shoot those scenes you were doing? So um, it was phenomenal working with Atlas. Atlas is well, is all the writer, director. And he's acting in it, and he's producing in it. Yeah, the whole shebang. The whole shebang. <laughs> so I had the absolute best preparation, being um, deep conversations with Atlas. Um, I did a lot of work in looking into 50s films, um, texts. I watched um, a lot of like Leave It to Beaver. I watched a lot of like Anthony Perkins. Um, I watched just everything I possibly could to get myself in that mindset of the 50s, the cadence, the rhythm style of people and just how they existed are going to be a very specific sort of way. So as much as I could possibly do to get myself into that space and that mindset of conformity, structure, and um, ultimately like a, a grand sense of decorum too. There's a lot of beautiful formality along with that, you know, chokehold on the people. So it was a, it was a, it was, it was a really uh, magnificent preparation process and I had about two weeks to do it mm -hmm. um, so I was kind of thrown into it really quickly um, and that just cut out all the fat and straight to it so it was a great time okay. one last question now I know this was a short film but watching it I can see this being like a series is there any future for this movie to be something longer or something else uh, you know, no. <laughs> I didn't. I did not write it with the intent of it being like a proof of concept or like kind of like you know an extension of a bigger script. Uh, I kind of like that these characters live in like this one night. I think it's special. Um, but yeah, no. Okay. And then I just want to also congratulate Quinn on his nomination for best actor. We're all very proud of you. Yeah, uh, this film has at least five nominations and. Best of luck to them. You know, it's a great film. You guys check it out. We'll see you guys later. Thank you. Yeah, congrats. Thank you. Congrats, great film. Yeah. Thank you. Congrats. Yep, yep.